First of all, I'd like to say that doing green screening in your house is hard. If you do not get the wrinkles out, it is hard to key it out. Okay, so um, I decided to take my dad's guitar two days ago to a shop in Topeka. I called ahead of time. I asked them if they do, you know, repairs on guitars, and the guy said, yes, he does. I said, do you replace, like, the pit guard, and um, uh, can you order, like, you know, the pickups, strings, and stuff like that, and, they, and the guy said, yeah. Um, but he couldn't give me a pricing over the phone. I'd have to bring it up there for them to take a look at. And so I said, okay. So the next day, which was two days ago, I took it up there and I put it inside a case, my son's case, and I brought the guitar in and I told him ahead of time that my dad had died holding this guitar and that it had been in a fire, that the flames hadn't touched it, but that it got broke, you know, like the uh, pickup guards. And so they knew ahead of time. Let me see, this is, look at it, look at the condition, you see it? And each, this guard right here, I took off. I have it sitting up there. And, and it was okay shape, but I wanted it replaced. I wanted both of them replaced. This one's broken half. But I need new knobs, you know, and new, uh, the whole knob. I mean, I would actually wire it in there and everything. I need new pickups. Okay? And, of course, this part has to be replaced, too. So, I had to wait 10 minutes in order to talk to this guy when I went into the store. So I decided to take a look around. I didn't like what I saw. Every guitar there, like let's say acoustic guitars, were $400 and up. I think the highest was like 900 and something dollars. Might have been $99, okay? Then the electric guitars, I did see a few of them there was like 150 and, and then some of them were uh, 200 something, but then the rest of them were, you know, like I said, 400 and up. And the amps, the amps were like expensive just to starting out. And they were like, you know, 1,200 and 1,700, you know, and I'm going like, okay, this is not good. With prices like this, chances are they're not gonna wanna deal with this kind of guitar. And it's embarrassing to take your guitar into a shop to ask somebody. That's the reason why I've waited this long to do it, okay? So, uh, finally the guy came to talk to me and I said, I'm the one that called you yesterday. And he said, okay. And so he took a look at it. And all he did was unzip it. He didn't even pull out the guitar. He just looked down and he saw it and he goes, I can't, I can't do anything for you. That's what he said. And I said, can you at least replace the uh, guards? And he goes, no, I can't. And then he turned around and the rest of the time that he was talking to me, his back was to my face. The rest of the time, he wouldn't even look at me. And I said, well, can you get the pickups? You know, uh, do you know where I can get those? Or can you order them? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And then I said, well, do you know any other repair shops, guitar repair shops here in Topeka? And he said, no, I don't. No? Like that. By this time, I know bullshit. Bullshit. There is other guitar shops. I didn't know where they were located because I'd already Googled. And you're trying to tell me you have a shop it's been there for a couple of years and you don't know where other repair shops are in your own town? Bullshit. Bullshit. So he said he couldn't help me on anything. On it. So I I figured this is what it is. The guy looked at me and he decided right away that I could not afford his prices, that I could not afford to get a fix. And you know what? I had five thousand dollars in my pocket so screw him screw him and his business it pissed me off when I left there I was so humiliated uh, embarrassed um, I was mad you know because you gotta tell me that you can fix all these things and then when I go in the store you can't help me you can't do anything so screw him he missed out on the money and I decided now that I'm gonna fix the guitar just like I do everything else. I do the electricity, I do the plumbing, I do all these things. I do not call anybody to help me. I did call one time an electrician because I needed 220 on the house. I did that and the guy was reasonable. It was only 100 bucks. But everything else, you know, mechanics and all this stuff, I do all the work myself on everything and I sit there and I read books and I learn. And then in this, in this case, uh, I am gonna have to look up the electronic part of it, you know, the electricity and, and soldering, the wiring, but 
uh, I already bought, you know, the stripper to strip it. And I figured out the guard, you know, uh, what the guy used actually was plexiglass. Not until I took it off did I realize it was not pick guard material. It's, ex it's actually plexiglass. So I went and got that today at the lumber yard. <clears throat> so I'm going to repair this thing myself and screw all those other people out there because whenever you ask for help, that is what happens. So this place, unprofessional, you know, unprofessional. You should never judge a book by its cover because he missed out. Definitely. All right. You guys have a good one. Take care. And thank you for watching. God bless.